Um, on the men's side, we definitely are still in the rebuilding phase of, of, of this men's program this year. They, uh, we have a lot of guys that are redshirted, so it's going to be a very difficult time for us to, to run with the big dogs in the conference this year. Um, we're hoping to be in the top ten at, at conferences and regionals, and, and for the group of guys we have out there who are very young and very inexperienced, that's going to be a good place for us to be. We always knew he had the capability. Um, Jeff has a great work ethic, but he's been really hamstrung by a, a few injuries during his freshman and his sophomore year. So this year he really had a solid summer of training, probably better than he's ever done before, and, and certainly that's kind of parlayed itself into a very good season for him so far. And, and I think he's really coming on right now with practice and workout and stuff like that so that he's going to run his best at the upcoming meets here. Yeah, I mean, Tim Starr and Connor Varis have really stepped up nicely for us this year. And, and running in our top five all year, it's not a normal thing for a freshman to be up there typically in our program. So um, they get some experience that otherwise they wouldn't have gotten this year. And, and I think that's valuable. And, and certainly the learning curve has been steep at points for them, but, but it's certainly valuable as well. We, we're in a good place right now. We've had some uh, crazy workouts over the last few weeks, and, and I don't think it's necessarily showed up in, in our races. We haven't actually raced our top five together since the very first meet of the year. So uh, it should be interesting to see what they do as a group right now. Uh, we do have one other injury that just came up in the last week, so that may throw us off slightly, but um, we have such a deep group of girls right now that they should be okay despite what's going on with, with one of our individuals. And, um, you know, Priscilla is, is putting down some um, absolutely ridiculous stuff in practice right now, and, and that should be interesting to see what she does. I, I know Neely Spence is a prohibitive favorite to, to repeat as PSAC champion, but Scylla is just definitely up to her game tremendously right now. So it should be exciting to see if she can hang with her. And uh, Brittany Zuber's finally kind of rounded into race shape right now and looking very good. and. And uh, Alicia Anderson came off a couple bang up things on her feet and is doing much better right now. And, and Emily Francisco has kind of been the rock of the team in that she's running consistently every workout, every meet very well. So with those top four up there, we're, we're pretty solid. And now we have Becca Moore running very well as well. And, and uh, a couple of our freshman girls, Katie Rue and, and Sarah Mulvey, have also had some very good workouts lately. So. Kind of excited to see what they do this weekend, and it'll definitely kind of tell us where we are regionally um, after the conference meet. She's motivated. Um, I don't think she likes to lose. She doesn't like the idea that Neely Spence is rated ahead of her. It bothers her, and um, she wants to do well there. Um, she's hungry to do something on the national scene as well. She feels like... Cross country was a bit of a disappointment last year with some health problems she was having at the end of the season, and now she you can just see it in her eyes every day of practice. She's there, she's 100% there, and it's kind of exciting to see, or it will be exciting to see what she's going to do. It's, uh, I don't think any conference can say they have that deep of an individual talent group as far as women that are capable of running at the top of the nation, and uh, we are very fortunate. Um, in our conference to have that level of athletes or that those levels of athletes here. It's going to mean that somebody's left out and, and certainly the girl from, from Mercyhurst, Christine Turek, is another one that's just running amazing right now and, and there's going to be some people there that don't go to nationals that probably sh could have or should have been All-Americans this year and, and that's a real tribute to the, to the coaching and, and the athletes in this conference.